Okay, today we want to talk about turns and ratios in a, in a transformer. Now the first one we're going to do is we're going to work on a step-down transformer. So you have your, your turns on your primary side of your transformer. <clears throat> you have an iron core and then you have a secondary side of your transformer. So these are not totally accurate as far as the turns ratio, but in this situation our primary has a number of turns in the primary is 100 <clears throat> and the number of turns in the secondary, which is the number of turns in your secondary, is 5. We're going to start off with a voltage of 240 volts. Okay, now here comes some of the math. So for turns ratio, basically it's, we already know what our primary is, so our primary is NP over NS, sorry. Okay, so our turns in your primary is 100, and our turns in our secondary is 50. Okay, so uh, we could reduce this down. Five goes into five one time and 5 goes into 120 times. So this would equal a turns ratio of 20 to 1. Now from there we can calculate what our secondary voltage is. So we'll use a new formula for that which is E voltage in our secondary is equal to our EP which is our primary voltage times our turns in the secondary over our turns in the primary. So in this situation here we have our primary primary voltage of 240 volts okay, times our turns in the secondary is 5 and our turns in the primary is 100. Okay so we can do this math and what would you come up with is <clears throat> 12 volts. So this to demonstrate we started off with 240 volts in the primary and we have 12 volts in the secondary. A lot of times what I'll do is a, kind of an easier way to do this is we have a 20 to 1 so if we have 240 volts divided by 20 comes out to 12. So that's an easier way to do it than a lot of this other stuff, but uh, that's kind of just one way that I figured out how to do it on my own, just figuring out ratios. Now that, now we can do, uh, like I said, this is a step-down transformer, so you start off with 240 and you end up with 12 volts.